today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful baby bonnet. The baby bonnet matches the the Knots and Crosses blanket. This blanket, if you want to make this, is on another video on my channel. But if you look on my channel, you'll find it easy enough. So this time we're going to do the beautiful little bonnet. It's got a little sunburst. You can make this bonnet any colour you like. The decoration is really simple. It's just white double-sided satin ribbon and I've used a piece of ribbon for the tie around the baby's neck. There's no pattern for this. I've made it up out of my head so if you want to make it then you'll, if you watch the video and follow along with the video. The sunburst on the back is particularly pretty. I really do like that. What I find is a lot of people when they make this type of bonnet with the flat back on it, a lot of people just don't know what type of decoration to put on the back and I think that is absolutely beautiful. Wouldn't that be beautiful done in lemon so it looked like a big sunflower on the back? This set complements one another. It's a beautiful set to give as a gift. You can make it any colour you like, like I've said. So let's go on with this and I'll show you how to make the bonnet. To do the back part first. I'm using some leftover Simply Soft yarn and this, this is a white one, this one. I'm going to show you how to do the back first. So I'm putting my yarn over and I'm making a slip stitch. I'll just move that out the way just now. So I'm going to do a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Now if you can do a magic ring, you can do it the magic ring way. But I'm doing a chain of four and then I'm going to slip stitch to that first. I'm going to slip into the end of my little chain. Just pull that through and then pull that through that one. And that's my little circle made. So I'm going to chain three. Chain three. One, two and a three. So I've got my chain of three. We're going to count that as a first stitch. We need 12 stitches all together. If you want a bigger hat, then 14 or 16 stitches. I'll make a bigger hat. So if we're counting this as our first stitch, I need to put 11 treble crochets inside this little circle. So yarn over and just go through, push your hook through that little circle that you made with your chain of four. Yarn over, through two stitches, yarn over and through two. So I've now got one and two stitches. Remember and count your chain. That's one and two. We need 12 all together. So that's my second one into the into the middle. So I'll get my 11 treble crochets into the middle and my chain will be number 12 and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I've done my 11 treble crochets into the centre and I've got my chain of 3 that makes 12. So I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain of 3. Just slip stitch. Into the top of the chain and close your little ring. So there we go, that's a little ring. Now what we're going to do, we're going to work behind the post of each of these little stitches. Don't be afraid to wriggle it around so you can see where you're going. So we're going to chain three, one, two and three. 
So we're going to put some double trebles around the post of this little stitch. So wrap your yarn around twice, put your hook in behind the stitch, behind the post of that stitch, put your yarn over and pull through. So yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we've got one stitch, just ignore that one there, ignore that just now. We've got one stitch behind the post. We're going to wrap around twice again and we're going to go behind the post, the same post. Again, we're going to put four double trebles behind that post. So through two and leave that one on the hook. So we've got two there now. Around your hook twice, behind the post for a third time, pull through, through two stitches, yarn over, through two loops, sorry. So we've got three on there now, plus our chain. Twice around the hook and around that post, that same post, for the last time, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. So we've got one, two, three, four, five stitches on now. So put your yarn over and pull through those five stitches and do one little chain. And that's us made our first, not that one, that's us made our first double treble cluster. This chain of three will be the last stitch of the last cluster. You'll see that when we get round to this side. So we're going to go into the next stitch. So put your hook through and find the post of the next stitch. So that's your next one. So we're going to put a yarn over twice, one, two, and go behind the post. This is called a front post stitch because the post is on the front of your hook. We're going to pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two stitches, yarn over and pull through two. So we've got one behind the post. We're going to wind the yarn round twice and go behind that post another three times. So we'll have four double treble crochets on our hook all behind that next post. So that's two, one, two, behind the post again, the same post, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. Sometimes I call it a loop, sometimes I call it a stitch. So yarn over your hook twice, behind the post for the last time, pull through, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So we've got our four there plus the one that was here from before. Yarn over, pull through all of those stitches and do one chain. So we've now got two sets. Of, so we've now got two cluster sets. We're going to work behind the post of each stitch like this all the way around our little wheel. So we'll have 12 clusters around the wheel. So yarn over twice. Behind the next post, behind the next stitch in our wheel, pull through, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over, and through two loops. So we'll do another three with this one and finish the cluster and we'll go right around our little wheel, picking up the post and putting a cluster around the post. So once we get back to here, I'll show you what to do next. So I've got my three 
double trebles around that last post. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain that we did at the beginning. I'm going to go in to the top of the chain. And through. So I'm going in through the top of the chain. Pull my yarn through. So I've got my five stitches, yarn over and pull through and one chain to lock that off. So now I've got my 12 individual little clusters. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. One treble crochet into this chain space. So that treble crochet becomes one of my first two treble crochets into the space. That's my first one, that's my second one. Now around this cluster, we're going to put a third. Go around the cluster like this. Go right behind it like that. Put your yarn over and pull it through and finish your treble. What that's going to do is it's going to make that little cluster all nice and neat. We're going to put two trebles into this space in between the clusters. One and two. And I'm going to put one around the next cluster. Yarn over and go behind your cluster of four and out the other side of it. Put your yarn over and pull through and finish that treble. So it's one around the cluster, two into the space, one treble around the, the cluster, two into the space, all the way around. So I'm doing two into this chain space, two trebles into this space, in between the clusters. One treble around the next cluster. And two trebles into the space. So now I'm round at my last cluster. But remember that chain of three was the first is counted as the first that goes into this space. So I'm going to finish off with a treble around this cluster, this last cluster, right around and finish my treble crochet. And I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain of three slip stitch into the top of that chain and that is your little starburst made. Now what we're going to do, we're going to chain three, one, two, three. So we're going to do some increasing rows. So this becomes our first stitch, this chain. So into the top of the next one, we're going to put two treble crochets. So into this one, we're going to put two treble crochets. That's one into the same stitch and that's two. The next stitch, we're going to put one treble crochet. The next stitch, we're going to put two. Two treble crochets into the same stitch. One and two. 
into the next stitch we're going to put one one treble crochet, one single treble crochet into the next one we're going to put two we're going to work like that all around the hat so it's one treble crochet and then two into the next stitch one into the next stitch two into the next stitch all the way around the hat slip stitch into the top of that chain of three and close off your circle I've got 50 stitches around my hat so we're going to chain three one two three now what we're going to do now is that becomes our first stitch we're going to put one into the top of the next stitch one treble into the top of the next stitch I'm going to do one into the next stitch one into the next stitch all the way around the hat so I finished that last row I'm going to show you what to do so I'm going to show you what to do next to go from the back to it being like this with a little rim around and then to work on the body so that's that back and I'm going to show you how to turn it like this so I've got the back of my bonnet done what I'm going to do is we're going to pick up some stitches around the back but I find it easier if you just stop here I'll sew that in around the edge now on, our, on other videos I've showed you that on this last the bottom of this last row of trebles it looks like there's little knots all the way around there where it's attached to the top of the row beneath it this is where we're going to be picking up the stitches we're going to be picking up the stitches that are in between our treble crochets so I'm going to turn it so I'm back down to here just find my way in under there through that hole and up there just get my yarn I'm just going to pull it through there we are hold that tail I'll just hold that tail off to the side just now and I'm going to chain I'm going to chain three one two and three chain three so we're going to pick up stitches so go in between the trebles oops put your yarn over and in between those trebles and make a stitch we're going to do that all the way around yarn over in between the trebles and make a stitch and a nice even pattern as starting to go forward for the body of the bonnet what we'll do now is I'm going to do one row one more row and I'm going to do double crochet so I'm just going to chain two and turn my work and I'm going to work around not the back of the bonnet make sure you don't go into the back part this little this little part of the bonnet don't do that part make sure you're doing the part that's going to start the body I'm going to do a double crochet 
roll all the way around. So you don't do your yarn over, just go into every stitch and do a double crochet. In the USA this is a single crochet. In the UK it's a double crochet all the way around. So I've got right round with my double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain of two. This is the last time that we're going to be joining any of the rows. Slip stitch through into there. So I'm going to chain four and turn my, my work. One, two, three and four. I'm going to turn my work. So I've got the bottom of my bonnet down here. This is the, the back of my bonnet. I'm going to work along here. What we're going to do is for this little cross stitch, we're going to miss a stitch and work a double treble crochet into the top of the next stitch. So yarn over twice and go through that second stitch. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over and through two. Now don't go into the little stitch that's right below your chain. Skip a stitch, go into the next stitch. So what we're do going to do now is we're going to work back and make a cross by using that skipped stitch. So yarn over one, two, go through that gap, go through the big gap and through your stitch, through your skipped stitch. We're going to work the skip stitch. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two and yarn over through. So that's made the first of our little crosses. There's a little cross there. This post will run along and become the V opening of the bonnet. So we're going to skip the next stitch and work this one. Yarn over twice through the top of that stitch. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over and through two. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come through this space and work the skipped stitch, that empty stitch there. So this is what the way we're going to do it. Okay, a little clearer view. So yarn over twice to do the double treble crochet. Make sure your yarn stays to the back when you tilt your hook. Come through the hole and go through and work that skipped stitch. Pull your yarn through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over and through two. That's us made our second little cross. So I'll hold that up a little bit so you can see. Now, the reason I'm using the Karen Simply Soft, it is a really, really soft and squishy baby yarn. So even though we've got that little cross section, it's not hard in the slightest bit at all. And it's really still very, very soft. So skip one stitch and work a double treble into the next stitch all the way around the hat. It's going to be skip a stitch, work a stitch, oops. So twice around your hook, skip a stitch and into the next stitch. All the way around the bonnet. So it's skip a stitch, work a stitch and go back to that skipped stitch. So that's that double treble done. Yarn over twice, through the gap and into that skipped stitch. And we're working this one slightly to the back 
and that's going to cross over your stitches. You can see it here. There, I'll use my scissors. So you can see that it's crossed over there and that other one is at the back. And make sure that you're working around the outside of your bonnet and not that back part here. So again, skip a stitch, double treble into the next stitch. If you're in the USA, this is a treble crochet for those in the USA and other countries. Yarn over twice through the hole from the back to the front and then go through and work your skipped stitch. Put your, put your double treble in and we'll do that all the way around the bonnet. So once I've got round to this other side I'll show you what to do next. I'm down to my last stitch. So I'm going to do my two yarn over and I'm going to into my last stitch to finish this row off and just do one single double treble just the way we started. So we started on one and I'm finishing on one. So I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to work another set of crosses going this way. So again, just ignore that very first little stitch there, ignore that one. And you can clearly see where your crosses are and the two stitches we're going to use. So we're going to skip a stitch and do a double treble into that one. So yarn around twice into the top of that stitch, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Around your yarn, you yarn around your hook twice, go through the hole like we did the last time and through that missed stitch, through the skipped stitch. This is what makes the cross, it crosses over your stitches by going, skipping one, working the next one and then going back on yourself. So that's us got our next little cross and it sits above that one. So I'm going to complete that row all the way around to So I've got the body of my bonnet complete. I've got six pattern rows. One, two, three, four, five and six. The back of the bonnet, if you want to make a larger bonnet, the quickest and easiest way to do it is I'm using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook if you use a lot one size larger if you use a five and a half millimeter crochet hook your back is naturally going to be bigger and so you'll get more stitches around it and you'll be able to do an extra pattern on and that'll make a bigger bonnet so here is the finished bonnet isn't it absolutely bonny i really really like it i love the way the back's turned out with this sunburst. Can you imagine that in a pale lemon? It would be absolutely, do you know something? I think I should try that in a pale lemon. I do have some lemon and I've got some of this white left. Now all I did with the crisscross pattern, interwoven into the first pattern closest to the back, I've put some double-sided satin ribbon. I folded it over the last post at each side as we were doing these posts up the side. I've secured it in, made sure it's very secure. And the only other part of decoration I did was I put some ribbon in to tie under the baby's chin. Make sure it's secure. You don't want a baby to tug that out. Now there's no way a baby's going to tug that out of that hat like that. There's no way. So there we go. 
And like I've said already at the beginning, I did make a matching blanket for it. And the video for the blanket is on my channel as well if you want to make the matching blanket for this. So thank you very much for watching. So get your crochet hook and your yarn ready. Start the video from the beginning and work your way along. Just keep pausing the video and, and then you can catch up. And you too can make this beautiful, beautiful little bonnet. It really is pretty. You could put a little bow down here as well. It really is a beautiful little bonnet. And I'm really pleased with it. I'm really quite pleased with this little bonnet. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please just click on that subscribe button. It is free to join the, join my craft channel. You don't have to pay any money. Just subscribe, click on the subscribe button and it is free. And if you click on the icon, the little bell icon, then that's a notification icon. And if you subscribe, Click on the notification bell and YouTube will tell you when I post a new tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.